We're going to start things off by creating the pillar, and we'll do this by selecting the cube 3D in our tool palette. We'll draw that into our canvas, and at this point, either hit the edit key, move, rotate, or scale. That way you can rotate it in 3D space. Next, we're going to change some of the initial attributes for this cube, so we'll scroll down to where it says initialize in the tool palette. For the X and Y position, I'll type in the number 20. That way we can get it to look a little bit more rectangular like our pillar. Next, we'll create a unified skin from this 3D primitive. We do this so that we can spread the polygons across the surface in a more uniform manner. In the tool palette, open up the unified skin pulldown. Set your resolution all the way down to 8 and your smooth value all the way down to 0. Then click Make Unified Skin. Now you'll notice in the tool palette that you have a new unified skin tool that looks exactly like the pillar that we were just working with. The only difference is now you'll notice that the polygons are spread much more evenly across the surface. Now we'll start adding in some resolution so that we can sculpt some high detail into this pillar. In the tool palette, open up the geometry pulldown. Take notice of two buttons in this pulldown. You'll see divide and you'll also see smooth. We're going to divide the model twice in the beginning, but we'll turn off smooth at this point so that we can keep the hard edges. Then we'll turn smooth back on so that when we divide again, we'll get a nice bevel around the corners. We'll divide a few more times just to make sure that we have enough resolution in our model so that we can get some really fine details. We'll change up our material just so we can see a little bit more shadowing on the surface. And you want to make sure that you test out the resolution of your surface by just scribbling on it a little bit. In a moment we're going to jump into Projection Master and we want to make sure that we have enough resolution to capture all that detail. Next to the Edit button, up on the left hand corner of your screen, you'll see the button for Projection Master. You can also hit the keyboard shortcut G to enter into and out of Projection Master. So let's go ahead and do that now.